How do you define what success looks like when balance is unclear? Life is very complicated for working moms. There is almost never a time that they feel like they're not on. Most moms, and of course across the pandemic, this has only gotten worse, feel like if they're not working, they should be doing something with their kids. If they're not doing something with their kids, they should either be working or fixing up the house or doing something family oriented. And the result is that there really is never any balance, never any time that they're not feeling guilty or stressed. And we talk a lot about work-life balance, but there's really no such thing. It's more like work-life integration. How do you define what success looks like when balance is unclear? So the guilt, that word when you said it, I think there's so many moms that I know that definitely resonate with that is a constant in a lot of ways. The guilt for me is, am I giving my husband enough room to go after his career when he is supporting me? Things are very amplified for moms right now. We were doing a study in January 2020 that found that about 50% of moms were already really concerned about being judged uh, by their coworkers for family-related decisions and commitments, which meant that even when they were getting flexible work, they were feeling bad about it or feeling like they were going to get sidelined for taking a little time off. So again, that idea of, of feeling guilty, but also feeling stretched um was there uh, about 83 percent of the moms that we talked to found that maneuvering day-to-day -day logistics and managing household schedules were stressful uh, about three quarters of them found a lack of flexibility and organizational support in the workplace was extremely concerning and again when they got it they didn't have the respect for it and during the pandemic that just got worse because a lot of organizations took the tact that, okay, if you can work from home, then you might as well be online. You could be working all the time because look, you know, your kids are there, you can continue working. So there was really no comfortable time to be offline at all. I'm an uh, eternal optimist, uh, and I think I've, I've chosen to see a lot of the positives over the last year. Um, I, I think we're in a better position for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, I do think we have leveled the playing field with regards to how much can be done, whether you know, you're physically together versus separated, and how much you can balance within a day. Um, people have really seen some amazing moms who have taken on all the extra work and still knocked it out of the park in their jobs. And so it's been amazing to see that. And we've been saying a lot, work is what you do, not where you go. And yeah. that's changed um, also how managers measure um, the value and the impact of an employee because it's no longer about literally watching them be in an office and sit at their desk and do their job. Uh, and with that, I think comes a ton of new opportunity uh, to design your life the way you want to for the for folks who are able to have uh, that kind of supportive environment. Uh, I also think there is a lot of um, self-reflection on what's really important to me and maybe conversations that people were uncomfortable with uh, a year ago, they are very comfortable having now on you know what's important and what it takes for them to stay. Uh, I think the other part is I heard from many moms that they love the fact that they literally were able to see their kids throughout the day. That was something that they may have never imagined or experienced before. Yeah, absolutely. And and what you say is really reflected in a study that we did at the end of 2020. We did something called the Silver Lining Study. And I think it was in part because of our own <laughs> exhaustion and depression with the pandemic. We just wanted to see, you know, what were people really feeling good about? And um, really about three quarters of moms reported that being able to change their work hours throughout the day really helped them support their home life. And at least 90% said that they wanted to work uh, partially, if not fully remote in the future. It was just uh, overwhelmingly so people told us about getting to see those magic moments that they wouldn't have gotten to see with their children. Uh, I think that a lot of uh, women in particular saw that as a real eye opener. 
yes, they wanted to have their careers, but no, they didn't want to miss these moments with their children. And it was very heartening in that way that it really helped give them a sense of what's important to them in their lives. And, and that was magic. I got to enjoy a bunch of family life stuff while still doing my job. And that to me is something that now is going to be very difficult to walk away from is that I could literally work from anywhere and it doesn't matter. And I, you know, was held accountable to results, not necessarily just being in an office. A lot of corporations were uh, forced to see that working remote for many people was not so bad. When I look across the board, was it harder? Yes. Was there a lot of struggle that was put on the shoulders of these moms? For sure. But there was a lot of perceptions that were changed. There's a lot of new, um, I think, transparency in who we are and everything we have to handle and take on and how much of that we can do really well uh, that I think has changed the views of, of what people are capable of. And that, that to me has been a, a huge growth point.